before starting with IO Express on Windows, it's always best to go to the website and download the latest drivers. To do that, go to www.aja.com. At the top of the page, click on Support, and then click on IO Express. There you'll find downloads for IO Express, including a 32-bit Windows and 64-bit Windows download. Save it to your desktop, and when you run it, it'll install all the plugins and drivers you need for using Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Sony Vegas, Discrete Combustion, Ion Fusion, and Machina. When the download's finished, double-click on the zip file and drag the installer out of the zip file onto your desktop then double click on the installer. If you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista, the operating system will ask you to confirm the install. Click Run, the install begins. Click Next, read and agree to the licensing agreement. Then you can choose either the complete install, which will install all the plugins and drivers, or the custom install. If you choose the custom install option, you can choose between various AJA drivers, Adobe plugins, Autodesk Combustion plugins, Ion Fusion plugins, and AJA's QuickTime and Video for Windows codecs. Then when the installation is completed, click Finish. It'll ask you to restart, but you can restart after you install the hardware. Your IO Express will come with one of two host adapters, either a PCIe card, like this one, for use inside a workstation, or a 34mm express card, like this, that can be used in a 34mm or 54mm express card slot on a laptop. It also comes with a cable to connect the host adapter to the IO Express. That cable runs between the host adapter and the port on the IO Express labeled PCIe on the IO Express. So the idea behind the IO Express is a design that's compact and lightweight so that it can be easily used in the field and especially used with file-based workflows. The way we're gonna illustrate that today is with Sony Vegas and a Sony EX1 camera. So we're shooting this right now with an EX1 and the cameraman is shooting not only to the SBIS card in the EX1, but it's also being recorded by an AJA Key Pro. So I'm gonna go in and launch Sony Vegas And what we're going to do is take the SBIS card out of the camera. Thank you. And I'm using an SBIS card reader here because the Express slot on this laptop is being used by the IO Express. And the card gets read. And in Vegas, I'll go to the Explorer tab, look at the removable disk and find the shot that we're literally taking right now and drag it to the timeline. Now I activate the external monitor, which is set up to be the IO Express, and we have the shot that just took place right here. So you can literally start editing and previewing your shots seconds after they take place. So we've already seen how Sony Vegas and AJA's IO Express work great together for file-based workflows. But they also work in more traditional workflows as well. The IO Express can take SDI input and HDMI input, and Vegas can use those inputs to capture to several different formats, but most notably, to an MXF file that has Sony's HD422 MPEG compression. This is a lot like the compression of XDCAM files. So it gives you really small files that you can use on a laptop hard drive at a very high quality of compression. So what I'm gonna do is we have an SDI input plugged into our IO Express. And in Vegas, I'll go to the file menu and click on capture video. And you can see our video source comes up in the capture window. And for the encoding, we'll select 
the HD422 MXF option. And we come down here and click the Start Capture button. And Vegas starts to capture a high quality MPEG compressed MXF file. And we'll click the Stop button. Save the file. And the file we just captured, we can drop into the timeline and play back immediately for preview. So this gives you the ability to go into the field and capture from a more traditional source that isn't necessarily file-based, but turn it into a file-based workflow by capturing the same kind of files that you would capture with an XD Cam camera. Next, let's look at how IOXpress works in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll launch Premiere Pro from this shortcut I have here. And Premiere Pro with the IOXpress has many fantastic features. What we'll do here to show some of them is open a new project. Find the project location where we want it to be saved. And then we'll select a preset from these presets that are installed by the AJA installer, specifically for IOXpress. I'll choose 1920 by 1080 at 2997. Now I'll go to the file menu and say capture. Select the AJA QuickTime Capture module and click OK. And in this module, I can choose from many different capture types, from 8-bit uncompressed to 10-bit uncompressed. But on this laptop with a small disk system, I'll choose AJA DVC Pro HD and click OK. Then I can click the record button and it'll capture a DVC Pro HD compressed QuickTime file either to a small external hard drive or even to an internal hard drive on a laptop. This can complement the already wide array of file-based compressed file types that can be supported by Premiere Pro when using IO Express. This includes XDCAM, AVCHD, P2, and of course these DVC Pro HD compressed QuickTimes. So the IO Express works inside Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Photoshop CS4 in the same way as the Xena cards. For more information on how these cards work inside the Adobe CS4 applications, watch the Xena LHI training video that you can also find on this website. IOXpress also works in AJA's Machina application in the same way that the Xena cards do. Machina is AJA's capture, output, and review application, which allows you to use these functions of the cards without owning any third-party software applications. Here I'll launch Machina again from the shortcut I have on the taskbar. I'll go into the Setup tab, where I can set the resolution of what I'm going to capture. I'll choose 1080i at 2997. And then I go to the Capture tab and choose my Clip Options. I'll choose a QuickTime movie, and for the video subtype, again, I'll choose DVC Pro HD because I can capture it to the internal drive on the laptop. Then I'll click Record, and I'm capturing a compressed DVC Pro HD file directly to the drive. Then I'll click Stop, and go to the Play tab, 
where I'll load the same file that I just captured and play it. So Machina gives you a free application that comes in the box with IO Express that lets you capture, output, and review files in any situation where maybe you don't have a nonlinear editor around. Whether it's in the field or somewhere on set, you can use all the functionality of the card without having to have third-party applications. So that's IO Express on Windows. We hope you've enjoyed our IO Express training video. To learn more about IO Express, to also obtain the latest software and drivers for the product, or to learn more about any of AJA's products, simply visit www.aja.com. Thanks for watching.